Hey Oklahoma fans, welcome back to Crimson and Cream Machine's 12 teams in 12 days as we preview Oklahoma's 2012 football schedule and count down the remaining days without Sooner football. Today we're going to look at Oklahoma's October 13th opponent in the Texas Longhorns. Last year Texas compiled an 8-5 record, find themselves bowl eligible once again after taking the year off in 2010 from postseason play. The Longhorns do own a 59-42-5 all-time record against the Sooners, but I doubt that that has added any comfort for Texas fans over the last two years as they have lost consecutive games to Oklahoma in the Cotton Bowl, highlighted by last year's 55-17 thumping that Texas suffered at the hands of Oklahoma. When it comes to offense, Texas has struggled to find an identity. Last year, only Iowa State and Kansas averaged fewer points than Texas did in the Big 12 Conference. Second-year offensive coordinator Brian Harson trying to resolve the issue and find an identity for Texas, but his biggest hang-up has been quarterback play, which makes the quarterback position our player to watch on the offensive side of the ball for this preview. Last year, the Longhorns rotated David Ash and Case McCoy at the quarterback position in an effort to find some sort of consistency and a boost to their offense. Instead, what they found was turnovers and consistent play and the inability to connect on the deep ball. Those are issues that have to be resolved for Texas to be a player in 2012 within the Big 12 Conference. Right now what you've got is a quarterback in David Ash who threw uh, eight picks to only four touchdowns in 2011. And then you've got Case McCoy who was a little bit better, only four picks to seven touchdowns last season. However, when you combine the two, you still have more interception passes than you do uh, touchdown passes. This will result in opposing defenses stacking the box, trying to stop the Texas rushing attack and force the Longhorns to beat them through the air. Until Texas proves that they can do that, look for this to cost them in potential big games such as Oklahoma. On the other side of the ball, Texas will be among one of the top defenses in the Big 12 Conference. They're strong along the front. They're very solid in the secondary. Linebacker could be a little bit of a question mark as they replace some players from 2011, but Texas always recruits talent, and there's always talent in the waiting. A player to keep an eye on here is defensive end Jackson Jeffcoat, who led the team last year in tackles for loss of 21, as well as a team-high eight sacks for the season, Jackson compiled 71 total tackles. So what's the fear factor for this game? Well, it's Texas. It's in the Cotton Bowl. It's on the national stage. It's the biggest regular season game of the year for Oklahoma. And it's the, it's the rivalry in which both teams hold things back as much as they can through the first part of the season until they play each other. You never know what's going to happen as these two teams take the field. It is literally one of those rivalries where you can throw the records out the window and anything can happen on any Saturday as these two teams play each other on one of college football's biggest stages. Thanks again for checking in with us. I hope you come back every day as we continue to preview Oklahoma's 2012 football season as we count down 12 teams in 12 days. For SB Nation's CrimsonAndCreamMachine.com, I'm Matt Hofeld.